Uh, I'm Paul Hayward. I'm the Managing Director for Dyn across Europe, Middle East and Africa. Yeah, so Dyn is an internet performance management company. And what IPM really is all about is giving greater visibility across the global internet and then giving people levers of control to actually affect the public internet for private means. It's an extension of the way people think about NPM and APM, but now across the broader internet landscape. Yeah, I mean, you're absolutely right. And I think the first thing that Dyn does is it acknowledges that it is a very vast and very broad challenge uh, because the internet is a very vast and very broad thing. And I think uh, you know, what, we, what we do fundamentally and, and how we do it is, is by allowing both greater visibility of what's happening on the internet, you know, how different technologies and vendors are performing, whether that be a, a cloud provider like Amazon Web Services and how they perform from, from their Amazon instances to Jakarta or any other market city around the world, or maybe how a transit provider like uh, NTT is performing between two locations and really allowing organizations to have that empirical data on exactly what's happening, you know, demystifying the black box that is the internet, but also giving people the ability to, to control and do something about that. And we have a, a traffic steering capability that allows people to shift uh, on, a, on a demographic scale where their users are connecting to them and to their infrastructure and to their brand and, and how they're doing it. I mean, we're very clear about market segmentation, and we think about the, the mid-market, uh, the mid-market enterprise, and really, uh, we're able to provide them with like an out-of-a-box way to, to deal with the internet and, and make the most of that opportunity. Uh, but when we think about the enterprise, and when we think about the, the, what's on the mind of today's CISO or today's CIO, they're really trying to understand the internet from both an opportunistic perspective, a cost-efficiency perspective, but also a security perspective. And we, we bring all of those things together to, to really give that that evidence which, which organizations can make better decisions about how they use the internet. Yeah, I mean, yeah, absolutely. And I think the challenge is when we boil it all down to is, is it's a really big thing. And it, it keeps coming down to the fact that the internet is a really big thing. Um, and what is your level of confidence with the way you do business on it? And that's not a choice, that's a reality that if we think about the way revenue has shifted to digital economy and the internet is now the logistics engine of the digital supply chain, you need to understand it in, in just the same level of details. You understand your traditional supply chain and who your, you know, where your warehouses were and, and who your logistics operators were. And, and that's really what it all boils down to. Independent use cases are very, very different. They're usually around optimizing end user experience, you know, optimizing infrastructure spend, or uh, mitigating risk. It will boil down to those three use cases, but it, the common problem is there. I think we need to be honest, there's a lot of hype around cloud. Uh, it's, a, it's a mystical world that people have abused for years. And I think what we do is we bring the, we bring the reality to that. And we allow organizations to, to think, okay, well, I get the commercial model of the cloud, which is why most people move to it. That's where most of the business pressure was. But now, what can it actually do to me? And, and we have the ability through our tools and services to say, well, okay, well, how does, how does Rackspace's London data center connect to my customers in Dubai? What does that look like from a speed perspective? So we're here to really like, enable the, the mid-market into having a greater level of confidence in the decisions they make about the way they use the internet and internet infrastructure. Yeah, so if you think about Dyn and, and how we grew up, um, we were, we were kind of born in the cloud as well. We, we, we run the largest uh, and you know, most scalable enterprise DNS platform in the world, as well as this internet intelligence capability. And you know, the, the Netflixes and, and Twitters of the world, you know, we grew up with them and they're our customers. But actually our focus now is how do we enable a traditional industrial enterprise? Because those are the guys that are looking at huge scale and, and huge challenges. How do we give them the data to make those decisions? And how do we give the, the tool sets to the, the modern security operations center or the modern IT infrastructure manager? And that's, uh, that's really our focus for 2016 and beyond.